Hi everyone, welcome back to the Crypto Carlos Fandango channel. Um, I've just got a very quick video just to show you something I learned the other day that's uh, quite handy to know. Um, first off, apologies, the noise you can hear in the background over the audio is a uh, Raspberry Pi fan that's going berserk in one of my other offices. So I apologise for that if it's uh, annoying, but I can't stop it at the moment. Um, so what I'm going to show you today is how to make your USB 3 external drives read-only. You know, you might be asking why would I want to do that. Well, of course, once you've plotted fully to a drive, there is no need for that drive to have any write permissions to it. Um, the Chia software that is going to be farming harvesting against that drive can deal with it in a read-only state. So you can disable that, um, and it's a little bit of a command line tweakery to do it. Um, now why would you want to do that? Well, you want to stop anything from being able to either corrupt the plot files you've got on that drive or anything nefarious getting access to it and um, deleting those files. So it's good to lock it down once you've got it fully plotted. And I've done this across all my um, USB 3 hard drives in my current farm. Okay, so how do we go about this? Well, the first thing um, you can see here I've got a USB 3 drive set up, it's a Western Digital, it's only a 250 gigabyte test drive um, and at the moment it's write enabled so that means I can go and create a folder on there with no issues. There we go and we'll just leave it as the word new folder so that folder is, is there on that drive. Okay next thing we need to do is uh, click the Windows icon and type CMD and this brings up your command prompt and then you just type the words disk part sorry disk part you'll get a confirmation message to say that this app needs to make changes to your device so you click yes and then you get a secondary window come up um, on your computer um, with the disk part sort of um, prompt loaded in okay so the first thing you do is you can do um, a command called list disk and if you do that it shows you all the hard drives on the computer but what you get here is only the internal drives in the computer so these are either um, the disk and partitions that are on my um, I think it's a t one or two gig well it's a one gigabyte isn't it I think in this machine but what you don't get listed are all your USB 3 drives or USB 2 drives or whatever you have um, attached to your computer and in order to see those you have to do the list volume command and if you do that then you can see you get a bit more information you still get details of the um, disks that are internal but you also get details of your USB 3 disk as well and you can see there's the identifier so that makes it a lot easier now to deal with this because we've got a volume ID here. So the next thing you need to do is to select the disk you want to work with. So in our case it's select volume 4. And once you do that you'll get a confirmation message saying that that volume is the selected volume. So this now allows you to view the attributes for this, uh, for this drive or alter them. So our next command and I think I've got this on here somewhere. No, I haven't. It's okay. Is attribute disk set read only. Sorry, attributes, not attribute. Attributes disk set read only. And once you click that, there'll be a little delay. Um, depending on how much data is on your drive how big the drive is there will be quite a substantial delay before you get this confirmation message saying the disk attributes set successfully so now if we flick back to our where is it gone where is it gone it should be there we go to our usb drive and we try and delete that folder now you'll see we've got no ability to do that and I can highlight it and click the delete key on the f keyboard nothing will happen no context menu to delete it if that was a file same thing you can't do anything with it okay so let's put that back to how it was now 
So now all we do is change the set command to the word clear. Once again, there will be the similar sort of length delay and it will say the attributes have been cleared successfully. Now if we go back, let's close the file explorer for some reason. I don't know why it keeps doing that. but uh, Now if we right click on new folder, you'll see we've got our context menu and the delete, cut, various things are enabled again and we can indeed get rid of it. So it's as easy as that. Um, to set your disks to read only um, and you know protect the data that's all already on them. So I hope that's been of, of use to you. Um, it certainly was to me when I found out how to do it. Um, there are some other um, inbuilt sort of things in disk part. If you type help you'll get a list of everything you can do. You're able to view the attributes on a disk once you've set them or cleared them so you can check as well. Um, all sorts of things you can do that I won't go into but have a look at the help if there's anything in there that will be of use to you. Um, so please give the video a thumbs up and a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already because it all helps the channel and I'll see you next time.